Hello and welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Aristomus Client. If you want to know how you can get this client for yourself or how you can download it, stuff like that, there's going to be a specific tutorial linked right at the top of the description for you guys um, if you want to know how to do that. This video is purely just going through everything on exactly how to use this client. So loading into a world with this, um, you're immediately going to notice things in all four corners of your screen and let me go through all of those first so first off in the top left um, you'll have a mini um, menu right over there and that is um, that, that's gonna allow you to see what hacks you have and have not enabled um, and I'll get in more into that later um, anyways as you can in the bottom left we just have some uh, useful values, um, most of which are for um, servers or survival, neither of which I'm utilizing right now. Um, then you also have your coordinates in the bottom right of your screen. They will always be in the bottom right of your screen, your coordinates, so you won't have to pull up um, the F3 screen, um, as well as the direction you are facing and the speed at which you are traveling. Yep, and then as you see in the top right, um, you are just going to have um, another little menu, which is not really developed as of yet, um, because we haven't really done much with the client. So first off, I'm going to show you how you can open up the hacked menu. And to do that, um, what you want to do is you want to press your right control. So, no, sorry, your right shift. Yeah, so not your left shift but your right shift button and what that is going to do that is over here going to open up the menu with all the hacks um, you have you can hover above these and it'll usually give you a pretty simple explanation also keep in mind that there are actually scroll bars here um, so you can also extend these as well as move them around your screen if you wish um, so there are more things to this client than may seem um, the the first time you see it. There's also a very useful search box over here if you're looking for a specific hack and can't find it scanning around this area. Anyways, to enable a hack, you can simply hover above it, see what it does, and then you can just click on it to automatically enable it. And as you can see, once it's enabled, the text of the hack will turn into light green. And that allows us to see that a bunch of hacks is al have already been enabled by default. Most of these correlating to the things that we see um, in the rest in on our screen over here, right? Um, and we can actually, if you, if you want to remove those, if you find it irritating, then you can definitely do that. Um, so opening up the hack menu with the right shift button and then you can turn off for example all of these things there we are as you can see now then there is not a single light green thing over here press the escape button to exit this and now as you can see um, it has all been removed um, there is no things on our screen which might block visibility um, or let someone else watching our screen see um, that we are using this hack client. Haha, <laughs> sneaky. Um, also, whilst I'm talking to you guys here, don't use this on servers. Okay, it's not fun. And let me tell you what, you're going to get banned probably immediately. And that'll be the end of all the fun for you at least. Um, so, you know, you're going to get banned eventually. So just don't do it. It's not really worth it because what's the fun? right um anyways as i said most of these hacks are going to be self-explanatory if you do have any specific questions i'm obviously not going to cover all these because there's um, way too many to do that then leave those out in the comments below and there's actually more features to this than you might think as you can see when i press the escape um button as you see this is all going to be a nice nice blue color um and as you can see, apart from the usual menu we have over here, we'll also have two more buttons down here. So we can first take a look at the Arismus options. And um, these are some options that are a little bit different from the ones that would be in the hacked menu. For example, X-ray ores. Um, this will allow you to select specific blocks, which 
you want to look at. For example, um, what's a good one right over here? Stone. Um, you know, you can select specific x-rays um, for blocks that you do or do not want to see. Um, as you can show selected items over here, as you see the ores are going to be automatically selected. It was sort of defaults or clear all as well, so you can set up a specific um, x-ray for yourself. As you can see in this case, um, end portal frames are also included. And you can remove those, you can add other things, you can add chests for example, if that's something you might be looking for. Um, you can basically change things over here, you can add or remove macros. Um, do all that stuff through all of these options that you can find here. So going through here, ghost hand blocks, this is going to make a specific block appear in your hand whilst you actually have nothing or a different block in your hands. With the My Cape button, you'll be brought to the Aristobus website um, and get capes and stuff like that. Macros, as I already said, you can import macros. Auto eject blocks, this can be hand useful for, for example, skyblock, where you don't want to pick up certain things. Um, this will uh, once again allow you to select items and for and just automatically eject them from your inventory and they won't clog up the entire space. Um, one more thing I've seen people confused about, um, they've gotten to the x-ray area, set it all up exactly how they want it, however, they're, how do you actually enable it? Well, to enable any hacks, um, you of course go to the hack menu, and then in the search tab over here, you can find the x-ray um, thing over here, and as you can see, that is going to turn on x-ray for us, um, and then I can press left shift, Right, can right shift again um, to, as you can see, turn that back off. Um, and as you know, this uh, little menu over here is only to custom set up things for in the hacks itself themselves, and to actually enable and disable the hacks, you want to go into this menu over here. And now lastly we have this add-ons button over here. So these are going to be mods and there will be some in here by default. Um, and you can install these, um, uninstall them if you have them installed. You'll see the Fabric API here which um, is just the Fabric API for Aristobus client. Um, and I believe through here you can also add in um, forks of this client as well as skids. I believe, don't maybe 100% take my word for it, um, anyways you can add specific um, mods for Aristobus client right in through here as well as access them. And anyways basically that is that, that is basically how to use um, the client and now if you do have any questions whatsoever, um, any issues you're experiencing then feel free to leave those down in the comments below. Anyways, do remember um, if you want to find out how to get, get this client, I've got a specific video on how to set everything up as well as on how to download the client which is going to be linked somewhere near the top of the description. Anyways, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye!